Hey guys! Today we're here with Creature and I kind of just wanted to show you what we did to make our <gasps> ferret cage a little more elderly ferret friendly. Creature here is almost eight years old, which is pretty old for a ferret. Depending on where you read or who you talk to, the lifespan of a ferret varies greatly. So while there has been ferrets that have lived to 10 to 12 years of age, that's not the norm. And eight years old, again, pretty old. If you followed our channel for a while, you would have seen that Creature here has been riddled with issues all his life, unfortunately. He had a leg tumor which had to be surgically removed. That same tumor came back and actually wrapped itself around the tendons in his leg which resulted in having his back leg amputated. He had a tumor in his ear that we had to have removed. He has both adrenal disease and insulinoma and he still has a few mast cell tumors as well. Being almost eight years old, we know his time is limited with us. Recently, he's been showing signs of difficulty moving around his cage. Our boys never have accidents in their cage and all of a sudden I was noticing some accidents outside the litter box. So I became more vigilant and was kind of watched to see who the culprit was. I noticed that Creature could get halfway into his litter box. So basically his front half of his body would be in the litter box, but he couldn't actually lift his back end up over the lip of the litter box anymore and was having accidents right outside the litter box. He was trying, but couldn't quite make it. I also started ah. noticing him having struggles getting to the other shelves in his cage. So if he tried going on the ramp, he would just slide off the ramp because having only one back leg, he couldn't really get that momentum because I think some of his strength is going in the back as well. So a lot of the times he tried going up the ramp and either kind of roll off or slide back down. Now, the rest of the ferrets don't even usually use the ramp and just climb on the shelves and we would see him trying to climb the shelves, but he was struggling with that and almost couldn't make it up the shelves anymore. And this was a problem because his food and water dishes were on the upper shelves. Now, I've seen other people's ferrets start to have movement issues as they get older, but of course Creature has a way harder time because again, he only has the one back leg. So it's even extra difficult for him. Now, before anyone freaks out, he does have a vet appointment. We noticed obviously him having issues and we did make a vet appointment. So as the time that I'm recording this right now, he has a vet appointment in a couple days. So since he was having all of these movement issues in his cage, I wanted to make things a little more easier for him. To start, I took their litter box and used a Dremel and cutoff wheel to cut down one of the sides of the litter box. I left a very small lip to help keep the litter in, but cut it down small enough that he could just walk in. Honestly, I'm sure all of the boys will appreciate this. After this, I moved the food and water bowls down to the bottom part of the cage with the litter boxes. I also put the bowls as low to the ground as I could. I used to have them raised a bit as Winky often likes to dig all the water out of the bowls when it's lower. Because Creature was sliding down the ramp and couldn't use the ramp anymore, I removed the ramp because I didn't want him to get hurt because I did see him try to climb the ramp and accidentally almost like roll off and hit the floor. So we removed the ramp out of there and I took the rest of the shelves and moved them all up one layer, which may seem cruel, but because he was struggling so bad and kept falling, I don't want him to get injured. So the rest of the ferrets have no issues climbing to the rest of the shelves, but it prevents him from even trying and potentially getting hurt. So now on the bottom ah. shelf, we have the litter box, which a much lower lip on it so he can get in and out, his water bowl, the food bowl, a bed, and even a hammock for him. Their cage ah. door is open 12 hours a day, six days a week, so he has the opportunity to have other places to safely explore now, but even with that, he often just sleeps most of the time anyways. Every once in a while, he ventures out of the cage to steal one of the dog's beds to sleep on instead. But we wanted to make sure everything would be as easy as possible for this old dude, because we love him a bunch. But I'm gonna go put him back in his cage, because as you can see, all he wants to do is sleep. But thanks for watching this video, guys. Bye.